Alright, so solve the inequality modulus x plus 4 is greater than 2 times modulus x minus 1. Alright, so this is an absolute value inequality and both sides have the modulus. Alright, so to solve this equation, so to solve this inequality, right, since both sides has modulus, so we need to uh, square both sides okay since the both side of the inequality have the modulus sign right so we're going to square both side right so at the left side we square and then also at the right hand side also we square and then at the right hand side okay if we square so we need to square the two okay two also need to be square Okay, and x minus 1 also to be squared. So we distribute the power to 2 and also to x minus 1. Alright, so we can simplify this expression. So we need to expand first. So the first one, uh, 2 squared is 4. And then x minus 1 squared. Okay, so x plus 4 squared is 4x squared plus 8x plus 16. And x minus 1 squared, this is x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then we can multiply 4 inside this bracket. So we get 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay, and then we can rearrange this uh, inequality. So we can bring uh, x squared to the right hand side so we have 4x squared minus x squared this is 3x squared and then we can bring 8x to the right hand side so 8x minus 8x this is negative 16x and then we can bring uh, 16 to the right hand side so it's become minus 16 okay and so 4 minus 16 that is negative 12 or we can change the order of this uh, inequality so we get uh, 3x squared minus 16x minus 12 is less than 0 so now we have a quadratic inequality so to solve a quadratic inequality we can use the graphical method or we can use table of signs so for this question I will use table of signs to solve this inequality Right, so first we need to find the critical value. So to find the critical value, we need to factorize first this quadratic expression here. So if we factorize, we get 3x plus 2 times x minus 6. So to find the critical value, okay, we, we equate okay, this factor equals to 0. So the first one, we have 3x plus 2 equals to 0. So that means x is equals to negative 2 over 3. And then for x minus 6 equals to 0. So we have x equals to 6. And then we rearrange this number in ascending order. So the smallest is negative 2 over 3. And the largest is 6. Okay, and then we also put the value for infinity and negative infinity. Right, so for the first row, we're going to put the interval. Right, so the first interval is between negative infinity to negative 2 over 3. And in this inequality, there are no equal signs. So that means everything is in a round bracket or everything is open, open interval. Right, so the first interval here is negative infinity to negative 2 over 3. Okay, the second interval is from negative 2 over 3 to 6. And then the third interval is from 6 to infinity. Alright, so we have the interval here. And then the second row is for the test value. Right, so we need to choose a value within this interval. Right, so within the interval from negative infinity to negative 2 over 3, let's say we can choose negative 1. And then between negative 2 over 3 to 6, maybe we can choose 0. And then for x greater uh, x greater than 6, we can choose maybe 7. Alright, so we're going to substitute all this test value into our quadratic expression here. So we need to substitute into x uh, 3x plus 2 times x minus 6. Alright, so if we substitute x minus 1 into this expression, Okay, we will get the value of the is a positive value. So we just take the sign which is positive, and then if we substitute zero into this uh, expression, we get a negative value. And then if we substitute seven into this expression, we get a positive value. Alright, so for this question, we want to find okay the 
value uh, the inequality is less than zero so less than zero means that a negative so we just take the negative interval here which is negative 2 over 3 to 6 all right so that is the answer okay for this inequality okay so the answer is x is in between 2 negative 2 over 3 to 6